I call Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I am grateful for a brief opportunity to promote this measure through its final stages through the House. Mr Speaker, it will be patently obvious to viewers and listeners around the country that we have been treated to some barefaced and shameful rewriting of history by members opposite during the various stages of this bill. But the public isn't fooled and won't be fooled by the spin because the substance is there for everybody to see. The substance is the Labour Party's legacy and it is an appalling one. The loss, Mr Speaker, of $4.8 billion, as reported in the 2008-09 annual report, should leave all members of the previous government collectively hanging their heads in shame. I commend this Minister and this Government for confronting the appalling problems that Labor not only ignored but exacerbated during the latter period of their time in office. The options that the Minister has confronted were unpalatable but unavoidable. The Minister is charting a prudent and responsible course to rescue and secure a vitally important aspect of our nation's social infrastructure. And New Zealanders will have every reason to be grateful for this measure in the years ahead. Mr Speaker, I urge every responsible member of this House to give it their full support.